Hey boys and girls, John Chapman here. You might know him as Johnny Appleseed. I was supposed to come by and visit you today, but all this wet weather sure made it hard. I gotta take care of all the apples down at the apple orchard. But I did want to call and just uh, send you a message and uh, share one of my favorite books with you, Johnny Appleseed. This is a story about Johnny Appleseed. With a name like that, you would think he was make-believe. But Johnny Appleseed was a real person who lived more than 200 years ago. It was a sunny fall morning in Massachusetts when a boy named John Chapman was born. The baby had cheeks as red and round as apples. Now Johnny's big sister Elizabeth was happy to have a little brother. The children played together with whatever they could find and they loved this poem. The sun shone and the rain fell. Little Johnny played and all is well. Now, Johnny's family got bigger. Johnny and his sister were joined by ten younger stepbrothers and stepsisters. Huh, what a busy, noisy house that was. Johnny would go outdoors when he needed some quiet time. Sometimes he would walk along the river... The squishy mud felt good under his feet. Other times, he would just sit under a tree and read. Johnny would watch the animals in the wild, the foxes playing in the meadows, the deers dashing through the woods, or the birds soaring high in the wide blue sky. If he found an injured animal, Johnny would take care of it until the creature was all well. Johnny liked being outside. When he got older, he went to work in the apple orchard, just like his great-great-great-grandfather long before him. And the sun shone and the rain fell. Johnny grew up and all is well. Johnny learned everything about growing apples. He was happy planting seeds or taking care of the trees or munching on a delicious fruit. Lots of people were moving out west back then, and when Johnny was all grown up, he decided to go west too. He didn't bring much with him. For a hat, he used his pan and burlap sack did just fine for a shirt. And shoes? Why? Well, why would you need shoes when you got two perfectly good feet? Johnny traveled through the countryside, and the sun kept him warm by day, and the stars made a roof over his head at night. The rain washed him clean. And the animals kept him company. Sometimes Johnny would stop and plant uh, apple seeds. And soon the seedlings would grow. And he'd, he'd sell the small plants to the families moving west. And when they got to where they were going, the families planted Johnny's seedlings and grew their own apple trees. Johnny was friends with everyone. Whenever, wherever he went, he'd bring seedlings or pitch in the, with the chores or share the story of all of his, of all of his adventures. The seasons passed, and every fall, Johnny would gather the seeds from ripe apples. 
Every spring, he planted the seeds and passed the seedlings to the settlers. He planted so many apple seeds, before long, people started calling him Johnny Appleseed. And the sun shone and the rain fell. Trees filled the land and all is well. Year after year, Johnny tended, tended his orchards, visited his friends and family, and slept under the stars. Because of him, people always had fresh fruit to eat. Because of him, the land grew more beautiful from all the apple blossoms. Johnny Appleseed left behind thousands and thousands of apple trees across America. Just think, the next apple you eat may even be from an orchard that was first planted by Johnny Appleseed. And the sun shone and the rain fell. Johnny's story lives on and all is well. Well, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed this story about Johnny Appleseed. Johnny Appleseed's one of my favorite uh, people in, in the history because I loved how he's a hard worker. He was smart. He took time to learn different things and how to take care of plants and animals and, and even people. And that brings to my final thing. He was a good friend to everyone, regardless of what they look like, who they were, or where they lived. He would always help out where he could. So today, on Johnny Appleseed's birthday, I hope you'll take and remember to be a good friend and help those you can. Until I see you again, I hope you have a great day. Happy eating!